Wow, if it isn't our favorite game, Universe Sandbox. Just kidding, it's Universe Sandbox 2. But they know that there's no reason to play Universe Sandbox 1 anymore, so they just they just ignore the fact that it's 2 on the title. They did, it's just Universe Sandbox. I mean, 1 was great, but it wasn't quite where we are now. Now we have Space Lasers, and I would never go back to the, the sad existence before Space Lasers. Actually, I think we could destroy the world with a dice. We just have to do it the correct way. Um, there's a way where you can exert a lot more force on objects in Universe Sandbox 2 than you normally could with tiny objects, and it's very strategic. Uh, so first you place the object down, and then you set its rotational period to something ridiculous. Something ridiculously small, because that means that it's going to be spinning ridiculously fast. So here we go, bam. 1e e to the 68th. That, 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 is, that is fantastic. Uh, or 1e one, one e to the negative 68th, sorry. Sorry, so this, this die is now spinning very, very fast. Like, so fast that it's not even showing it. Oh, it broke itself, okay, let's... Let's, let's try a little bit larger. How about that? Is that okay? Will the game allow me to do that? It looks like it will, it just doesn't seem to be actually rotating. Uh-oh. Does the rotational period not work? On dice. No? Okay, well that's lame. Come on, this game is trying to kill me. Um, okay, let's get something similarly small, but not like quite as small. Uh, let's destroy the world with... Uh, what's? We need a very, very small object, but the game will still like register it. Uh, where's Haley's Comet? There we go. Haley's Comet versus Earth. Let's see if we can pull it off with this, because Haley's Comet is actually pretty small in the grand scheme of things, but also pretty massive. Um, if, if you think about the impact force and the amount of damage it would do if it hit us. So we're going to slow things down just to be safe. Uh, here we go. Very nice. And now the rotational period on this bad boy we're going to set real low. Real low. And what this does is, there we go. It is now spinning so quickly that the uh, spin of it is going faster than light. Um, actually, we can probably do better, 54? No, no, that just kills it. That just kills it. You can only go so small before the game will be like, no. Uh, looks like that's within that range 25 nope it it is it is angry now oh because the rotation stopped completely it's going to not want to rotate now i understand how are we going to fix this we've got to rotate it a tiny bit to get it started excuse me would you like some rotational force whoosh Whoosh. Okay. Th this is not working. Uh, excuse me. You want to just rotate very... No, that that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god, Haley's Comet. Why are you like this? You absolute triangle. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Wait, we really didn't lose much. It's just a different comet. Sorry, Haley's Comet. No offense, we don't really care about you. We care about we care about what it means to be you. So let's go ahead. We're going to turn this down until I feel like it's appropriately small. We're not there yet. Okay, let's just go ahead and add a bunch of zeros in there. So yeah, we're going to make it spin faster than light. It's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Because when it hits the Earth... It's going to be spinning so quickly that the spin is going to actually spin Earth. Um, <laughs> the amount of force within this comet's spinning is pretty grand. And if done properly, it, it should s basically spin Earth like a gear. Um, 
W will it actually do that? I'm not completely sure. Uh, this may be too small of an object to pull it off, but it's not that small, so. Let's go ahead and before it impacts, get click on Earth quickly. Click on Earth. Hello, Earth. Yes. Okay, here we go. Focus on the comet. Have Earth. So we can see Earth's rotational period, uh, 23.9 hours. And now the moment of truth is whether or not the rotational period of the Earth is affected by Halley's Comet. Okay, and it is. Uh, the light speed spinning comet has... <laughs> Currently, it has halved the rotational period of Earth, but it's continuing to get shorter and shorter as it gets rolled again so, so fast. Now, what we're going to see is that this crater is going to come out really odd because Earth's going to start moving really fast this way, and so it's going to rip against the impact. Um, maybe we didn't make this go fast enough. Ah, we got Earth down to three hour days. Uh... Okay, well, there, there's quite a bit of damage um, in general. Would this destroy the world? Probably not. I mean, Haley's Comet's pretty big. It would be really catastrophic, but like... There is but a tiny bit of hope for Earth. Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe not any humans, but like... Some life's gonna survive. Some some bacteria. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't seem like this would be catastrophic. But I don't think this is like end of everything proportion. Uh, but you can definitely see how it did spin the Earth and how it kind of made a streak across Earth's surface. Um, that was definitely the plan. Earth's Earth's rotational period is done to three hours now. Can you imagine? That would screw up everything so bad and I mean something could that like that could actually happen if if like something flung by a black hole and somehow that spun I, I don't know maybe not get shot by a quasar um, trying to be realistic here but this game isn't always the most realistic I okay, so let's try a little bit some uh, larger of an object um, but just a little, little bit faster spinning as well. So like this, this would be pretty bad if an object this large hit Earth. It would, it would definitely be, this is like end of the world proportions. Um, this is like, I don't care how deep your bunker is, you're kind of dead proportions. Um, but ignoring that, we can do... This would be like death to everything on the surface, but it still wouldn't like destroy the planet. It would just do a lot of damage. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're going to make it destroy the planet because we're gonna set that rotational period right where it should be, which is extremely, extremely small. Okay, let's go ahead, turn it down, and bam, rotational period, speed it up, speed it up. Speed it up, speed it up. You think this is rotating fast? Well, we're gonna make it like a trillion times faster. Much more than a trillion, though. Tribute to behold. So this is larger and spinning faster than our last uh, last object, and we're also going to notice that it's gonna be moving. I think a little bit slower when it hits because we started a bit closer. Anyways, we're about to hit in Africa, and this is uh, this is gonna be pretty painful to Earth. Is it going to completely destroy the planet? Maybe not, but it's it could, depending on how the physics engine wants to play with it. So we've got 23.9 hours, and once this hit, oh god, there's a little hole in the mesh. Once this hits, oh! instantly put the Earth's rotational period down to something absolutely ridiculously small. Okay, fantastic. So now what's gonna happen is the Earth is spinning so quickly that this is hitting like all of Earth at the same time. Earth is just moving through it. And so it's gonna look kind of random where the explosions are. 
but they're gonna kind of be all over the place because of the Earth's rotation. Wow, this is this is getting a little bit intense. Um, Earth Earth is definitely uh, rotating fast now. I, I can actually see the random explosions on Earth's surface as it hits random parts of the Earth because of the rotation. There's little marks all over the planet at this point. But it's not done yet. It has quite a bit. Uh, also, epilepsy warning. Um, I can't really control the rate at which this flashes. There's no way to really get the game slow enough. It's just going so fast. Okay, so... Earth, Earth is looking really odd now. There's so many of these dots which are all tiny craters and mountains being made from the impact. Uh, we're going to speed things up a tiny bit. So that the fragments can go out. The fragments are just going to hit randomly as well. Uh, because they're spinning so quickly, it's kind of random. Here we go, the fragments. Where are they going to land? Everywhere is the answer. Everywhere and nowhere. And now you can really see the damage. All these fragments are starting to hit. It's peppering. It's peppering the entire planet. Oh my god. Wow. Look at the amount... Look at the amount of damage. Oh boy. That I really hope someone had a good insurance policy because this is this is worse than a hailstorm. Wow. Almost nothing is left on Earth. It looks like this has gotten much more dramatic after the recent updates. The effects of this uh, probably because of the surface grids whoa look at all of it that is absolutely insane what have we done to earth this is with one object <laughs> one object <laughs> i'm sure earth is not feeling the best after that wow okay so spinning in a random direction just absolutely there there's a lot of damage here but let's see the surface and uh we have some points which are super, super, super hot, but I'm more interested in looking at the elevation. Um, so let's look at the elevation. Oh my god! Look at that, these points are 21,000 meters! Oh my god, we did so much damage! <laughs> okay, well that's, that's pretty high. Um, vapor mass, very exciting. Ice thickness. Uh, lapse rate. We've got some very excited, but the the displacement and stuff is the more telling story. But yeah, um, that that works really well in the new update. Oh, look at them all get tiny. It's like eight bit version. How slow do we have to go for us to actually be able to see the Earth spinning in like a reasonable speed? <laughs> So we're now at one millisecond per second, so a thousand times smaller than real time, and now we're ten thousand, hundred thousand. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much we slow down, the Earth is always spinning faster than we can see. We've got to be close to like zero now. Oh! Oh! Hey! How, how fast are we move? I can't even see it. it. It's just zero seconds. Wow. Look at the amount of damage. That That is just absolutely insane. I'm sorry. I, I love it. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.